Welcome to the Creative Brew, helping you keep your creative juices brewing. We're giving out chunks of insight, motivation, and practicality for your creative journey. If you're a creator, athlete, or entrepreneur, luck can only get you so far. Having the right skill sets are critical in your success. All Skill No Luck makes handcrafted, custom-designed flannel wear. Made in the United States and based here right in Oceanside, California. They pride themselves on quality, creativity, and attitude. The perfect brand for the Creative Brew. Use promo code CREATIVEBREW10 and get 10% off and free shipping within the United States. You can check them out at allskillnoluck.com. My next partner is Elevate Coffee Trading. And if you appreciate specialty coffee, enjoy outdoor adventure, and love helping elevate the lives of children around the world, then you're going to love Elevate Coffee Trading. Their mission is to extract hope through love, coffee, and adventures. There's free shipping in the United States, and every bag of coffee helps sponsor health and education for children in coffee-producing countries and in areas of need in the United States. You can use promo code ELEVATE21 on your next order, and you can follow their journey on social media at Elevate Coffee Trading. Or you can visit online at ElevateCoffeeTrading.com and let's start extracting hope together. And this episode is brought to you by Baba Coffee, smuggling good vibes. Baba roasts their coffee beans each week and only offers the freshest coffee. They have espressos, lattes, cappuccinos, pour over, or drip coffee. You can try their cold brew coffee, nitro cold brew, or bulletproof coffee, and boba milk teas. They also have a wide assortment of delicious food, I would suggest you try the avocado toast, mimosas, wine, or beer. On the weekends, you can check out some great music like the Soto 6 and food like Eliza the Shelf and others over the weekend, every Friday and Saturday, beginning at 6 p.m. You can check out everything they got going on on Facebook and Instagram at Baba Coffee. Today, we're talking about Create What You Love. And uh, this is, uh, you know, going into Valentine's Day. Uh, you know, this weekend, uh, oh, actually, I'm sorry, um, Valentine's Day this week, uh, you know, I wanted to, actually, my wife was the one that proposed on, on doing this topic, and I've done this topic before, and I think for the most part, it's been one of the uh, recurring topics uh, with the show, or just even with a, a lot of the things that, that I create, and it might be something for uh, for my creators that, um, you know, you, you figure out what you're good at and i and i think a lot of creators are are good at very you know probably three or four different things but today we're talking about create what you love um and this is um you know this is something that i'll probably keep uh keep talking about during the course of the year is um you know if you can't find it you know create it um you know I, I think for the most part, sometimes we get so caught up in our heads. Um, you know, we, we tell ourselves, you know, we may not be good enough or we tell ourselves that, hey, this has been done before. And whatever ideals, you know, you, you have, you find yourself, um, you know, just sitting on them for, for whatever reason. Um, sometimes it can be fear. Sometimes it can be, um, you know, feeling like you, you're not good enough. It might not be the resources. It, like I said literally all kinds of um you know, then we don't put those things out. Um, and then likewise, you got a lot of people that may not be as talented as you, but they figure out ways of, of executing on ideals of just going. I'm just going to give a couple of tips on, you know, maybe it's something you're trying to make or you're trying to build. Um, it could be anything, uh, you know, along the uh, creative sphere. But I'm going to give uh, some, some tips as far as, you know, just what things that, uh, you may, you may or may not consider it. Uh, maybe something that that may help you out with your creative journey. Um, so we got some people coming on. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Emily, hope you're doing well. Um, so first one is, you know, figuring out what your purpose is. Um, you know, and this this different, you know, philosophies on this. A lot of people call it your icky guy. Um, you know, what, what's your purpose? Like what, what things are you gravitated towards? Uh, what, what things, um, interest you, what things are you really passionate about? It can be music. It could be art. It could be design. 
Um, it could be um, clothes, uh, writing, poetry, uh, literally anything. But um, you know, figure out what like what moves you, like what things. Um, maybe you've been creating certain things. You know, what things um, are you really interested in? For for me, um, I am really interested. I love um, storytelling. I love uh, creating characters. I love. I'm a big you know, comic book and sci-fi nerd. So I, I, I love comics. I love science fiction. Um, so I'm always sort of dabbling um, in those in those concepts. I'm, I'm real big on spirituality. Um, that's, uh, you know, a big part of, um, you know, a lot of my art. So um, I find myself sort of entangled in a lot of those different concepts and figuring out ways of, of communicating that to my to my audiences. Uh, so for me, for you, it, it might be something completely different. Um, you know, you, you may have those different concepts, different ideals that sort of swirling around. Um, I would figure out ways of how do we find the middle ground? Maybe, um, and this could be an, an exercise for you. Maybe you're in a whole completely different um, arena. Maybe you're, maybe you want to be in more of the, uh, the arts or creative arts, but you're, you know, obviously, you know, you got to pay the bills. You're you're doing something else completely different. What are some things that you're doing now, and then some things that you would love to do, and work where, where you could uh, where can you find the middle ground um, in those situations? Um, so uh, you you got people that's done different different models on that different you know different ways of doing that, but in the middle you find your icky guy. So you you figure out you know what you're good at. You figure out um what what you have done uh or what you what you do now currently and you in the middle you have your icky guy you figure out you figure that out but there's different models on that um i'm not the expert on that but uh i, I have done that personally before is figuring out you know what things intersect and then in that middle ground that is your that's your purpose that's your purpose for being second of all let's explore some dumb ideals you know um there's been a lot of i mean literally <laughs> everything that you see around us was was based off of an ideal. You know, even I, I, I sort of go back because I'm a comic book nerd, um, you know, talking about uh, Stan Lake, you know, his dumb ideal was Spider-Man. And now it's pretty much, I mean, you know, it's lasted, you know, it's been here forever. But that was off of a, just a dumb ideal that Stan Lee wanted to explore. And, you know, the publisher wouldn't go for it. Obviously, he went with it anyway, and then, you know, after that, it's history. So um, I would try to explore, figure out ways of exploring those dumb ideals, those things that, you know, really don't make sense, but it's fun. It's fun to create it. Um, I would explore that more. Um, I think sometimes the, the, the best projects or the best ideals um, come when we don't have those, um, a lot of times when we let go of the resistance, um, and we let go of feeling like it needs to be perfect or it needs to be such and such. Uh, maybe we've thought in our brain, hey, this is how it needs to be. And it turns out completely different. I would run with it. Um, you just you just never know, um, you know, what, you know, what comes from that. Um, and I've, I've explored various, you know, dumb ideals before and and some have went well. Some I, I still sort of experiment and and still creating things from those dumb, dumb ideals. Um, so uh, I, I, would, I wouldn't necessarily say this podcast was a dumb ideal, but um, this is an ideal hatched out of figuring out ways of communicating with, with other people, um, creating new uh, relationships, new friends, um, because, you know, coming from the East to West Coast, I didn't know anyone. So this podcast is a platform to be able to share stories, to communicate ideals, to um, bring on people and, and share their stories. So, um, you know, I, I think for the, the people that I'm connected to now, there's, I don't think there would have been any way I would be connected to you now if it wasn't for the podcast. So, um, you just never know what those dumb ideals are and, uh, what, what things, um, you know, just, it could be some of the craziest ideals. You just never know. I mean, some of the craziest ideals, are making billions for people right now. So if you've got those ideals in your brain, you've got it, um, you know, figure out ways of fleshing that out, uh, explore a little bit more. I mean, you don't have to invest a lot of time into it, but figure out ways of just exploring those dumb ideals, see what happens. Um, number three, uh, brain dump. 
you know, um, I'm really big on, on brain dumping, um, whatever ideals. And I know with a lot of creators, you may have, even for my creators, my entrepreneurs, um, thought leaders, you, you usually have 30, 20 or 30 different things sort of swirling around in your head. Um, brain dump it, figure out ways of just putting it on paper, um, map it out. Um, me, I'm really big on, on sort of writing notes and doodling and, and, um, figuring out ways of just, just putting it down on paper so I can see it. Um, and it could be positive and negative. Sometimes, you know, um, you know, you got things that you're struggling with, put it on paper. Uh, or if you've got some bright ideals or you got something like, oh, wow, this could be a really good ideal for my, for my business, for my creative career. Um, put it, put it on paper. Uh, figure out ways of brain dumping. Do not let that keep swirling around in your head. Um, if you allow that <laughs> to fester, you allow that to stay up in your head. Um, I, I really feel like that generally um, can turn negative and it can spill out to uh, every facet of your life. So figure out ways of expressing those ideals, put it on paper. Uh, if you're frustrated about something, put it on paper. Uh, if you have bright ideals, put it on paper. Um, brain dump it, keep it, read it um and and look over it um so we've, we've got that um next thing is figure out ways of you know we're, we're talking about create what you love so figure out ways of nurturing um the uh your your creativity so uh research i, I you know reading a reading a book and uh a researcher had talked about that uh, i'm just paraphrasing here that Kids, 20% of kids from ages 8 to 12, that's boys and girls, um, they, they still create fantasy worlds. So our brain is, 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 is really amazing. Um, and for, for the most part, our brain doesn't know the difference between what's imaginary and what's real. Um, that's our subconscious. Um, you know, if you tell it something, it will search it out. Uh, that's usually your... You know, a reticular activating system, if I say, hey, um, close your eyes and think of a red chair, you know, you'll start to see red chairs pop, pop up everywhere. Um, or your, your brain will focus for red chairs. So 20% uh, of kids 8 to 12 stay in fantasy worlds. So I know for my, for my creative community, I know we've always been used to, even when we was younger, we've been used to uh, being in our own little imaginary worlds, um, creating stories, creating characters. Uh, even if we, we had toys where we're, you know, creating on all kinds of uh, worlds and scenarios, um, you know, figure out ways. And I, and I know it gets and it, it really I, I believe that percentage actually dwindles the more that you get older. But uh, for a lot of creative types and maybe people that's in the creative career, uh, creative journey, uh, people that maybe you aspire um, to be like, uh, figure out ways of creating your your creative space allow yourself to nurture that that creativity um so yeah if if there's times where you know and i know it can be tough at times um you know you, our, our time is limited on on various things but figure out ways I, I know personally for me i try to figure out ways of um creating a a small space to where i can just create i can i can write i can jot down ideals i can think uh, because we have so much input going on. I mean, between our client work, between, uh, you know, relationships, uh, you know, things with our family, things with work, um, it, it could wear us out. So uh, figure out ways of creating a, a little pocket of space, uh, a creative space to be able to just freely just, just think, um, just create, put out your dumb ideals, um, you know, brain dump. Um, it, and it can be, you know, honestly, it can be 15 to 20 minutes. It don't have to be like a you know, whole two hour session. I mean, it could be a quick 20, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to where, you know, you're on pen, uh, pen and paper, write it down. Uh, I'm real big on that. Um, you know, I, I know we have our tablets and we have, you know, um, our smartphones, but there's something magical about putting pen to paper or putting pencil to paper and making it physical. Um, so I do urge you to figure out ways of creating your space, uh, creative space, stay in that imaginary world. Um, you know, don't, don't feel like because we're adults and we're growing up that we can't still have an imagination. Um, 
I think some, I think all of us have imaginations. It's just a, more people in the cradle field tend to practice it. I think people that say that they're not, you know, quote unquote, creative um, are actually creative. So, um, and, you know, creativity doesn't have to be, you know, creating some kind of masterpiece or creating music. It could literally be as simple as, you know, I'm a single mom with two kids. How do I make ends meet? That is creativity to the utmost. Um, you know, you're using the full gamut of your creative power to, to, uh, to make things work. Uh, so don't feel like because you can't, you know, write or draw, but you're not creative. No, creativity applies to literally every facet of, of life, of, of how we operate, of how we live. Um, we just have to figure out ways of intentionally practicing that, that creativity and, and putting out the things that you, that you want to love, um, or, or putting out the things that you, that you love. Um, so that's, that's what I got, um. So brain dump, uh, figure out ways of uh, creating that space to nurture that creativity, um, explore dumb ideals, and find your purpose. Um, so that's 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 what I got for uh, you know for today. But uh, I, I wanted to give uh, some quick shout outs. I'm actually doing a collaboration uh, with uh, Tombo USA, uh, which is a uh, art supply company um, here. They're actually uh, based out of, uh, out of Georgia. And uh, so uh, I'm actually doing a, a collaboration with them uh, for Black History Month. So I'm creating a, um, a piece right now, uh, actually doing a couple of pieces. Uh, I'm gonna show it real quick for, uh, well, for the people on Instagram, you may be able to see it too as well, but I am uh, creating a Martin Luther King cup and a, uh, actually, a, uh, Martin Luther King and Michael Max Cup. So you can, as you, you can see it come through for everybody on Instagram. This is the progress on it. And this was made um, entirely with uh, Tombow products. Uh, so I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Tombow USA for, uh, for collabing with me on this project for uh, sending me the art supplies to be able to create this. So I've got this and I'm going to be doing another uh, piece. And um, that'll be releasing here pretty pretty soon. So can't wait to to uh, show that off. But uh, if you're interested in products and art supply products, um, I would check them out. Go to Tombo USA. Um, I'll actually be having a uh, promo code uh, going on um, here pretty soon. So uh, the next episode that I do, I will or I'll post it out. I will um, people that's interested in um, brushes, pens mechanical pencil, anything you need for your uh, creative creative journey, for your creative work, um, I'll be sending out a promo code for that. So uh, for people interested, that'll be coming up soon too as well. Um, and then we have, speaking of Create What You Love, I want to give a special shout out to uh, Studio Ace um, art, art Shop that's here in Oceanside, California. Uh, they've been a great partner of mine. I just did some shout outs. Uh, they actually, you know, we recorded some content, but um, been highlighting more of the uh, local artists that's, that's there in the um, in the art shop, and um, so um, yeah, I, I had the opportunity to go in there and, and um, sort of share some of the, some of my artwork, some of my designs, merchandise, and uh, so yeah, I've got a uh, you know got the create what you love uh, coffee mugs, so uh, I wanted to sort of tie that back to you know our topic for the day and you know Valentine's Day and. Uh, just create what you love. You know, someone someone needs you out there. Someone is is waiting on you to show up. Someone's waiting on you to, um, you know, put that artwork out there. Uh, you know, if it's something that, you know, you care about, if it's an organization or if it's a, a movement, um, use your use your skills to the uh, to the most you know fullest. You know, if you uh, if you're passionate about nonprofits, figure out ways of of creating artwork towards that. Um, you know, if you're passionate about comic books or nerdy stuff, um, go full on nerd, uh, you know, create, create things according to, you know, towards that, uh, towards, towards the things that you, that you love, towards the things that, that interest you, um, to the things that you're, you're passionate about, um, 
you know, uh, and you can build, you can build a, a business from this. So there, there's a lot of people on social media that's, that's uh, creating stuff off of the things they love, um, you know, and being, you know, really successful at it. Um, and like I said, and, and that goes with hard work that goes with uh, following the breadcrumbs, um, you know, just keep, keep going forward, um, you know, exploring those dumb ideals. Um, so you, you see people on, on Instagram, TikTok, you know, Facebook, they're, you know, creating this amazing content just off of just, you know, things that, you know, would really wouldn't make sense. So um, that's what I got today. Uh, figure that out, create what you love. And uh, special shout out to, to my sponsors, to uh, Elevate Coffee Trading, to Baba Coffee uh, in Carlsbad, California. Uh, I'll still no luck. And then if you're interested in supporting the show, you can go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash the creative brew. And then for the price of a cup of coffee, you know, you can support this episode as well as future episodes. And um, so, yeah, that, that helps keeps the, keep the show going. So uh, that's what I got today. Um, yeah. I have a great day. Uh, keep creating, uh, stay inspired. And then um yeah, that's, that's, that's what I got. So yeah, have a great Tuesday. Um, I'll be re releasing this out, uh, this, uh, the recorded session of this, I'll, I'll be releasing this out, uh, probably sometime today and, uh, just, but really just more of a, just a, uh, more of a inspirational, uh, you know, brain dump today. Um, uh, nothing too formatted. Um, I, I do like to keep the episode structured, but uh, th I think that was something that was, had been on my mind. And then, like I said, I think, you know, my, my wife, she like, this is the perfect, uh, topic to, to talk about, especially with being Valentine's, uh, around Valentine's uh, day. And so, um, great with you love. So that's what I got today. Be creative. Stay inspired. about to give you ups and downs, all the wins and the outs and the smiles and frowns. They will tell you to settle down, stay on the ground. No, I won't take it. No, we won't take it.